just got this back. Um, maybe about a pound or so. Two pounds. Maybe. Feels uh, like three. Yeah, you gotta get the hook out, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just caught this really nice bass. Probably about five pounds at the most. Caught him right off there on a trick worm. Can't really show you. Hey, me. measure him on your arm. What? Measure him on your arm. Like, see how big it is. Oh, here, actually, this is better. Show it on my foot. Probably about. Oh! Okay, you're going back in the water. <laughs> He's probably about, let's see, 16 inches, I'm gonna guess. So, yeah, get him back in the water. Good releasing area, it's all clear. And there he goes. Oh, that's a nice little fish. Just a zoom trick worm. And that little wide gap hook. In a second. There we go. And he gave me a rush. Oh, he's probably about only a half pound. Not, not too big, but he gave me a really good bite. All right, the hook's out. Down go. There he goes. Oh, he's stuck. There he goes. All right, that is a fish. Ouch. One second. Oh, I almost cut myself using the braid. All righty. Another fish. From the same kind of worm. Probably about exactly a pound. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Pop the hook out really quick. Right over there. Strong fish. Go ahead and release him. Yeah, not the biggest of the season yet, but still pretty good. Alright, let's let this guy go. There he is. Alright, that was a fun fish. Um, may not be a good, huge guy, but he's a nice fish. Um, let me pull him up really quick. Show him to you. He's about a little over a pound. Yep. Um, oh, sorry about that. Pounds, caught him on a trick worm. Okay, this was really cool. Just caught him right off the bed. They're seriously starting to get aggressive on the bed now. I can't kind of see it. They're right off that bed. Doing some sight fishing. Caught the snail buck, guarding the fry. Big keeper in a tournament, but yep. Go back and guard your fish. Get back to you. All right, just got this nice oh, pig of a fish. He's gonna set up the camera, I guess not. Um, that's a really nice fish. I think it's gonna go. Maybe two pounds, maybe, maybe 1.5. So very nice fish. I caught it right off the bed over there. Um, muskrat with a uh, little little weight, not too big weight. And then, yeah, nice fish. Hook out. Pretty quick. Just doing a lot of sight fishing lately. It's working really well for me. So. I'm gonna put him right in front of his bed so and get back to it. Alright, I think this is the male. Right in the fry. Whoa. And there he goes. Alright guys, I don't I know this isn't a bass, but um I guess I'm just gonna video this. I got this nice little shell cracker on a uh this is a yum crawdad with a Texas rig. I'm here at the river just because the pond is really disgusting and has all this red duckweed stuff all over it. It's nearly unfishable. But that's why I'm fishing here. But anyways, let's get this fish back in the water. Alright, one sec. One sec. One second. Alright, we got the hook out. Nice little quarter pound shell cracker. Palm size, so. There we go. We'll get back to you. I don't think we're going to video any more brim, though. There we go. Nice little fish. About um, eight inches. I'm going to say. About eight inches. I don't know, my seven foot two skeet reese rod with a, with a little Daiwa Strike Force reel on it. I'm going to replace the reel later, but yeah. 
Yeah, I'm caught at. I'll see you later. Alright. Got this nice chunk, man, that's fat bass. Here we go. Gosh. No. Oh, sorry about that. Alright. That's a nice chunk. Maybe a pound. Sorry. Maybe about a pound little chunk right there. I mean good thirteen inch fish maybe. I mean my foot's nine inches. Then Maybe 12, 13, so, yeah, um, as you can see, like a little zoom, zoom, mini speed worm, a uh, watermelon red color, doesn't really matter the color right now, but, um, yeah, you can see this pond, it's pretty nasty, so, let's get Sky back in the water, get back to you. Oh my gosh, his buddy blew up on the vibe, but he ripped the tail off, and only about a half pound, but, yeah, gotta get the hook out, so I'll get back. He wasn't really gut hooked, but he's a good little 12 inch fish, maybe, well, yeah, 12 inches, almost, half pound, good little guy, exploded on it by those lily pads, but thought he's big. Okay. He wasn't really gut hooked, but he's a good little... 12 inch fish maybe, well, yeah 12 inches, almost, half pound, good little guy, exploded on it by those lily pads, but, caught it on a bitters vibe, well let's see, he's about, uh, oh yeah, 12 inches, he'd be deeper in the tournament, he weighs about a pound for a small size, maybe up, up the most, but good fish. I put it on a binge, bitters vibe, but there's only that much left of it because Gators kept on eating it. Apparently, he still wanted it. You know, it only had a tiny bit of it left, but good fish, though. Little guy. Let's see what you can get, though. Come on, go. There it goes. Oh, <laughs> come on, wrong way. And there it goes. We'll get back to you. Yeah, we just, we just got a pretty good bass. On a live brim? Live brim. Two pounder. Nice little guy. Maybe two pounds. I thought we were going to a ten pounder. We just spent all day trying to catch, but... Nice fish. Good fish, but... Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Oh, that's a nice fish. Maybe another two pounder, four and a half, two. Nice fish on a fairly big uh, um, brim. Some live bait fishing. Serious big fish out in the middle. This isn't one of the seriously big ones. Maybe one or two pounds. I know it's doing very well, but uh, nice fish. One two pounder. Uh, not what we're looking for, a ten pounder bedding, so. Uh, Good fish though.